Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, in the last session, we have uh, uh, covered exercise 4.4, question 1 to uh, 6. And now, in this session, we will cover uh, from chap uh, from uh, question number 7 to 12. So, let's start question number 7. Uh, show that x minus 2 is a factor of x. Uh, x cube uh, minus x square minus x minus 2 and hence show that this uh, uh, polynomial has only one real roots and state the value of this root. Uh, this is the first question. The second question fx is a cubic polynomial where the coefficient of x cube is 1. Find fx when the roots of fx is equal to 0, uh, r minus 2, 1, and 5. So we have to find fx by 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 using this and uh, by using this roots and this roots. So we will solve this uh, 7 and 8. Similarly, for this one, fx is a cubic polynomial where the coefficient of x cube is 2. The coefficient of x cube is 1. Here, a coefficient of x cube is 2, and the roots are given. So, we will solve this 7, 8, and 9. So, let's start. Uh, 7. Show that x minus uh, 2 is the root of uh, factor of this. So, x minus 2 is equal to 0, x is equal to 2. So, we place x equal to 2 here. So by placing x is equal to 2 here in this polynomial, we have obtained it 2 power 3 and 2 power square minus 2 minus 2. So this is 8 minus 4 minus 2 minus 2. So this is minus 8 minus plus 8, so 0. So this x uh, is equal to x minus 2 is one of the factor has proved. And now this uh, x square minus x square minus x minus 2 is equal to this one. Here we have x minus 2 and this is a x square plus b x plus c. And now we will expand this in a polynomial and we have obtained this. A x is x cube plus b minus 2 a x square c minus 2 b x minus 2 c. And now we will compare the coefficient. There a is 1 here 1 so a is 1 and b minus 2a is equal to minus 1 so this is a is equal to 1 b minus 2a is equal to minus 1 so this is minus 1 and c minus 2b is equal to minus 1 so c minus 2b is not written here but this this is sufficient that b minus 2a a is obtained and b minus uh, b is equal to 2a a, a in place of a one can be write down here because a is already known so this is minus 2, minus 2 we place there, so b is equal to minus 1, plus 2 is equal to plus 1, so b is equal to 1, so in this last one, this minus 2c is equal to minus uh, 2, so minus 2c is equal to minus 2, c is equal to 1, so c is equal to 1, b is equal to 1, and a is equal to 1, so this is uh, ax square plus bx plus c is equal to, a is 1, b is 1, c is 1, so this is this, so this is, now we take the, uh, discriminant and we see that this is uh, this is less than 0. If this is less than 0, complex root will be obtained, no real roots will be obtained. So, the so only real root in this polynomial is 2. So, the only poly uh, uh, real roots is 2 as obtained in the part 1. So, this is this is the only root and the other roots are complex roots. So these are the complex. So the real roots is not exist. Uh, now in question number 8, uh, we have a coefficient, uh, the coefficient of x cube is given as uh, 1. So fx, the three roots are given as minus 2 plus 1 and minus uh, 5, 1, 5 and minus 2. So in place of this, we write down x plus 2, x minus 1, and x minus 5. Let's uh, see the problem again. Uh, uh, let's see. This is this is x cube is 1 and minus 2, 1 and 5. So x plus 2, x minus 1 and x minus 5. So 
this is x plus 2 x minus 1 and x minus 5 so now multiply with this so first multiply this one and we obtain this roots and then multiply this so we have obtained this so this is the polynomial which required and the part b similarly this three roots are placed and multiply and get so final problem yes. similarly for c now this uh, uh, ninth problem there we have uh, x cube coefficient is uh, 2 here in this case here x cube is 2 so minus half 2 and x so x cube is 2 means this uh, 0.5 can be write down as 1 over 2 x is equal to minus half so x is equal to minus half so x is equal to minus half means x plus 2 is equal to 0 so x minus 2 and x minus 4 now we solve this this multiply with this one this we obtain this and in this case we can take out half as a common and this becomes 2 so when multiply we get the same results in this case so now this 2 half 2 to multiply here to eliminate so 2x plus 1 is multiply with this one so we have this polynomial so this is the polynomial so this x uh, minus half the second problem this is the part a and the part b we have this two two roots this roots one two and half and we have obtained this results. So this is simply a multiplication, nothing else. And for this part C, we have this. Same similar uh, type of problems. Now let's solve uh, 10 and 11. So let's go to question number 10. Fx is a cubic polynomial where the coefficient of x cube is 1 and the roots of fx is equal to 0 are 3 1 plus 2 and 1 minus under root 2 so this x is equal to minus 3 x is equal to 1 plus under root 2 x is equal to 1 minus under root 2 so by shifting uh, this root to the left hand side and equals to 0 we have a root so we will place it similarly for this problem number 11 so Question number 10, we have this coefficient x is 1 and x is equal to 1 plus under root 2, x is equal to 1 minus under root 2 and x is equal to minus 3. So this from this we have this by placing 1 here minus and then under root 2 minus. So this is the root. So this is uh, minus 1 and plus under root 2 and this is x plus 3. So we will place this 3 and multiply. And by multiplying this is... Uh, x minus 1 under root 2 this is minus 1 x minus 1 plus under root 2 so if we take x minus 1 as a, a then minus b. so x minus 1 is considered as a and minus under root 2 is a b so this similarly this is a and this is plus b so a square minus b square so this simply identity we have obtained this this is very easy so so this is x minus 1 whole square minus under root 2 square is 2 and this is x plus 3. So by solving it, it becomes x a minus b whole square a square minus 2ab plus b minus 2. This is minus 2. So we will open it and we have x square minus 2x and minus 1. So this is x plus 3. So this is the polynomial. So now multiply with this one this and we finally obtain this polynomial so this was the polynomial required for this fx function now problem number 11 we have coefficient of x cube is 2 and we have given x is equal to half x is equal to 2 plus under root 3 x is equal to 2 minus under root 3 so half will be placed here so x minus half is equal to 0 and this uh, number will shift to the left hand side with a minus minus 2 minus under root 3 this shifts minus 2 plus under root 3 so this is the three factors we multiply each other and from this this is a uh, 
minus and this is under root is considered as b so a square minus b square from these two brackets we have this result so this is this is under root 3 square means 3 and we open this to obtain x square minus 4x plus 2 plus 4 and from this we have subtract this now we will multiply this and we will obtain this so this is simple now question number 12 let's see the problem first question number 12 2x plus 3 is a factor of this uh, polynomial where we have some coefficient show that 4a cube minus 9a square plus 4 is equal to 0 we have to show this because this is considered as a factor so we'll place uh, x is equal to minus 3 upon 2 so we'll uh, on placing this we will obtain this kind of expressions uh, find the possible values of a so let's start uh, problem number 12 this is problem number 12 very important so here 2x plus 3 is a factor of this so we'll place uh, 2x plus 3 is equal to 0 x is equal to minus 3 upon 2 so x is equal to minus 3 upon 2 we will place this x is equal to minus 3 upon 2 uh, we will place x is equal to minus 3 upon 2 in place of this x in everywhere in place of x we will place this minus 3 upon 2 uh, with uh, existing states so this is 2x4 so 2 minus 3 upon 2 power 4 and this is a square plus 1 this is minus 3 upon 2 cube minus 3 3 upon 2 minus 3 upon 2 square and this is 1 minus a cube in place of x we have minus uh, 3 upon 2 so minus 3 upon 2 is here so now we will simplify this so simplify so we this is 3 power 4 and this is 2 power 4 is this so this is this this is the results and we simplify it this is our ticky one so let's solve it and this this denominator multiply with the 0 to 0 and we simplify and further simplify further simplify and by taking our 3 common and this becomes this and eventually we have obtained this results so this is that the part a is proved and in part b we have to obtain the value of a so in place of this polynomial we will fit some value which will give uh, this polynomial in terms of x uh, in terms of x we have in terms of a this polynomial is a function of a not x so we have to obtain the value of x similarly in the same way we have obtained the value of x in the previous cases so we'll fit some polynomial x is equal to 2 so by return trial we place 2 and we have obtained the 0 so now we can divide this polynomial by a minus 2 or maybe obtain uh, through the same ax square plus bx plus c method so this a is equal to and a is equal to 1 plus minus under root 33 divided by a so from this factors this can be further simplified by using quadratic formula so this is here you know we know we know that how we deal with this quadratic formula so this a is uh, considered as x so 4x square minus x plus 2 so this is coefficients and we can solve it this is easy and this is important so uh, now we have completed 4.4 uh, in the next session we will cover exercise 4.5